सदाशिव समारम भाम शंकराचार्य मध्यमास्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरु परंपरा श्रुति श्रुति पुराण आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत पाद शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः ईश्वर गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागि गुणवद्याप्तहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम ओं सहनावत सहनौनक्तुसह वीर करवाहे तेजस्वी नवदीतमस्तमा विदिषा वह ओं शातिशाशाति यो ब्रह्मण विधाति पूर्वेदाश्च प्रहणोति तस्म तगुंभ दिवत्मबुद्धि प्रकाश मुक्षुर वै शरणमहम प्रपद्ये ओं शातिशाशा नयते संसिध्यमाध्यांतवर्जित आनंदघन आपूर्ण आत्मज्योतिरुपास्मे शास्त्र to ascertain the meaning or ek vakyata ityadi basically for analysis for vakya mimamsa how shabda boda takes place what exactly is the meaning of the mantra there for such analysis various lingas are used uh, here in the earlier section what we have seen itham vakyasya atmamatr paratve in the earlier adikarana uh, in the same adikarana sorry in the earlier sutra in the earlier sutra itham vakyase atma matra paratve phalavatvam lingam abhidaya so tatparya lingas the shad lingas for tatparya nischaya specifically what we seen vedanta uttar mimamsa shastra what is the tatparya of the entire vedanta that is known by the six indicators the shadlinga in that one is phala apurva is another phala is prayojana what is the prayojana of particular upasana ityadi karma upasana or in vedanta of the mahavakya or the section where mahavakya occurs so it can be a particular section or it can be a complete uh, chapter or it can be the entire upanishad also based on the level of analysis it is being that is being done so here phalavatvam having result having some prayojana for what now vakya so vakyasya what is the tatparya of this vakya mahavakya or any vakya which has been seen here in the earlier mantra uh, in the earlier sutra the mantras which were analyzed were indriyebhya parakhyartaha ending with purushanna param kinchit sa kashta sa paragati therefore the entire section has been shown to have eka vakyata with the prayojana of atma jnana vakya se atma matra paratve there is no indriya paratvam there is no artha paratvam there is no manas parat paratvam or buddhi paratvam then what is it every vakya every uh, meaning vakya in the sense in literal sense not the mimamsa ka vakya vyakrana vakya every part of the section is connected only to reveal atma which is the innermost most superior and the subtlest because there are gradations in which analysis is being done as to what is परत्वम किम नाम परत्वम दिस इंद्रियेभ्य पराह्यर्थ एंड सो ऑन सो सम फैक्टर्स आर टू बी कंसिडर्ड फॉर परत्वम एंड दोज फैक्टर्स कैन बी वन और मोर ऑफ वॉ सटलिटी बींग इनर इंटीरियर क्लोजर टू वन सेल्फ द रियल सेल्फ एंड ऑल्सो 
the comparison has to be explained as to being in on what factor which factor is being considered so you can see one or more of these is applied there and thereby the superiority you can literally take superiority also that itself can be a factor it is superior so itham vakya se atma matr paratve nothing else is the phala there because what was seen is that adhyanaya uh, what was said is that nahi in the last uh, the second last sentence it was said nahi indriya paratvena artha gnana sata kinchit prayojanam janayati so indriya is an upalakshana there so whether in upalakshana meaning in that particular part of the sentence indriya bhya parahyartha there indriya is para so indriya paratvena sata kinchit prayojanam न जनेति अर्थ ज्ञान टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इज नॉट सफिशियंट बिकॉज इट डज नॉट गिव एनी पर्टिक्युलर रिजल्ट सिमिलरली द माइंड बीइंग सुपीरियर टू द विषयाज द बुद्धि बीइंग सुपीरियर टू द माइंड डज नॉट गिव यू एनी पर्टिक्युलर रिजल्ट एंड देयर फोर द एंटायर सेक्शन व्हिच इज गिविंग अ रिजल्ट हैज टू बी कंसीडर्ड एज वन वाक्य दिस इज व्हाट वी हैड सीन सो इत्थम वाक्य से आत्ममात्र परत्वे एवरी पार्ट इज कमिटेड टू रिवीलिंग the atma beyond which there is there is nothing para and thereby this becomes linga to show that the tatpare of the section is atma prayojana is atma jnana so phala vatvam lingam abhidhaya that is the phala and the section so vakya has this kind of a phala therefore vakya is what phala vat vakyam that is the linga to understand the tatpare or conclude as to the sandeha which was there what is the sandeha tatra kim imani vakyani bhinnani uta atma param ekam eva vakyam iti sandeha to resolve that sandeha also this is useful the shadlingas are useful here not all shadlingas are considered they need not be considered not all six need to be considered for a particular analysis for the entire tatpara nishya all six may, may be used but for resolving a particular doubt in the earlier sutra what was used is phalavatvam was used as a linga and further what apurvatvam meaning not being available by any other pramana is also a linga apurvatvam api lingam aha and bhagwan sutra kara says atma shabda cha atma shabda cha because there is a usage of the word atma itself so on account of that also atma which cannot be known by any other means there is no other pramana for atma shastra is the only pramana to for not atma for atma jnana atma is not something which is generated so it is swata siddha but still that atma is para brahma for that shastra alone is a pramana and that becomes the linga apurvatvam which cannot be known from any other pramana that is through any other pramana that is the tatparya of all these vakyas indriya parakhyartha ityadi vakyas do not give something which cannot be known otherwise you know that indriya uh, the uh, uh, the manas for example the mind is subtler than the sense organs we know because the mind can control the sense organs with buddhi having the say therefore buddhi is superior to the mind this also can be known through analysis it is pratyaksha siddha as well so for that you do not need shastra to intervene and explain so there it can be considered as anuvada shastra is just repeating which can, what can be known through other pramanas but in the case of atma as the most superior the subtlest of it all has to be mentioned because one is already having tadatmya sambandhas at various levels atma has to be separated out and shown as that which stands without any dependency on anything else everything else is dependent on atma for this shruti is the only pramana shabda is the only pramana so therefore atma shabda ch esha sarveshu bhuteshu gudhatman prakashate drishyate tvagreya buddhya sukshmaya sukshmadarshivihi iti prakruta purushe atma shabda shravana ch 
ಆತ್ಮ ಪರಮೇವ ಇದಂ ವಾಕ್ಯಂ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಎಂಟೈಯರ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಈಸ್ ಕಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಟು ರಿವೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಆತ್ಮಜ್ಞಾನ ವಾಯ್ಸು ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿ ಕಠ ಮಂತ್ರ ಸೇಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಆತ್ಮ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಯು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಆಸ್ ಒನ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಾ ಈಸ್ ಸೆಪರೇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟು ನೋ ದಿಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಸಾಧನಾ ಟು ನೋ ದಿ ಆತ್ಮ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಬಟ್ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಟೆಲ್ಸ್ ಯು ಹೌ ಟು ನೋ ದಿಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಸೊ ಕೋಶ ವಿವೇಕ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಶೋನ್ ಶರೀರತ್ರಯ ವಿವೇಕ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಶೋನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಏಷ ಸರ್ವೇಶು ಭೂತೇಶು ಗೂಢ ಆತ್ಮ ದಿಸ್ ಗೂಢ ಗೂಢ ಆತ್ಮ ನ ಪ್ರಕಾಶತೆ ಹೌ ಆತ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ಹೌ ಈಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ನಾಟ್ ರಿವೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ಭೂತಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಐ ಐ ಬಟ್ ನ ಪ್ರಕಾಶತೆ ಶುದ್ಧತ್ವೇನ ನ ಪ್ರಕಾಶತೆ ವಿದೌಟ್ ತಾದಾತ್ಮ್ಯ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಇಂಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಶೈನ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಬೈ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಸೂನ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಶರೀರ ಡ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಇಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಜೀವ ಹು ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಶರೀರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಾರಬ್ಧ ಹಿ ಆಸ್ ಗೋಡ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಶರೀರ ಸ್ಥೂಲ ಶರೀರ ಅನ್ ಟು ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ತಾದಾತ್ಮ್ಯ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಊಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ದಿ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಾ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಿಂಗ್ ಮೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೋರ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಾ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಿಂಗ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಟ್ಯೂನ್ ಔಟ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಾಯ್ ದಿ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಆತ್ಮ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಎನಿ ಡಿಪೆಂಡೆನ್ಸಿ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ಆನ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಆರ್ ವಿಷಯ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ಶರೀರತ್ರಯ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ಪಂಚಕೋಶ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಶೈನ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಆನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ಸೆಪರೇಟ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಸ್ ಶೈನ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಬಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಶೈನ್ ಈಸ್ ಮಿಸ್ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೂಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಾಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಔಟ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ದಟ್ ಶೈನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದಿ ಶೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ಚಂದ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ಆರ್ ಅದರ್ ಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಟ್ ವೇರ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ವಿಷಯಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ನೋನ್ ನೋಬಡಿ ಬೈ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಎನಲೈಸ್ ದಿ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈಕ್ವೇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಟು ಈಕ್ವೇಟ್ ದಿ ವೇಕಿಂಗ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಟು ದಿ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಟು ದಿ ಸನ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ಸೈಡ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ಔಟ್ಸೈಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಶೈನಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈ ಓನ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ನೋಬಡಿ ಇಂಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನರ್ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಗೈಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದಿ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದಿ ಆತ್ಮ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ರಿಯಲ್ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ನೋನ್ ಅಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಅನ್ಲೆಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪೂರ್ವ ಸಂಸ್ಕಾರ ಆಫ್ ವೇದಾಂತ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಜನ್ಮ ಆರ್ ಜನ್ಮಾಸ್ ಪುಟ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಗೂಡ ಹ ಸನ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಹಿಡನ್ ಸರ್ವೇಶು ಭೂತೇಶು ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ಸ್ ನ ಪ್ರಕಾಶತೆ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಶೈನ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಇಂಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಇಂಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಶೈನ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಆತ್ಮ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಸೇನ್ಷಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬೈ ಶೈನ್ ವೀನ್ ಮೀನ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ ದಿ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ವಾಟ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಲೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅವೇರ್
So the second sentence means that it can be known through the antakkarana buddhi only, but only through that buddhi which is tivra, which is very sharp. The mind antakkarana, the antakkarana playing the role of buddhi where antakkarana has so much shuddhi that buddhi can remain sharp and get bandwidth to analyze and get to decisive, conclusive end when the mind is giving some options and raising confusion that time the buddhi should be able to step in it is possible only meaning the buddhi is able to step in only when there is chitta shuddhi when the chitta shuddhi is not there then the same antakkarana which is functioning as the mind causing confusions or hijacking the atma into anatma and thereby in the end unto vishayas through indriyas that is possible only meaning this dragging is possible only when the chitta is not shuddha when the chitta is shuddha then buddhi gets place to step in it is possible for buddhi to step in and give the viveka throughput meaning what whatever is the resultant of the viveka and thereby the confusion can be removed the wrong conclusions can be removed and then one can rightly conclude so only when chitta is shuddha then this antakkarana which is playing the role of the confused mind or wrongly concluding mind for the purpose of the samskaras which have been accumulated across many janmas endless janmas uh, not endless beginningless janmas anadi janmas and that hijacking not taking place the antakkarana which also can play the role of the buddhi can now play the role of buddhi because of chitta shuddhi viveka is possible and thereby once buddhi steps in get some space and one can remain with the buddhi and know what is right then the conclusion will be right therefore although it cannot be known through antakkarana as an object it can be analyzed through the buddhi because that is the only tool that we have there is no other possibility of getting jnana for the for jnana jnana utpatti buddhi is the only sadhana only karana therefore drishyate tu agraya buddhya with a sharp intellect दृश्यते कह दृश्यते आत्मा दृश्यते गूढ़ा अपी गूढ़ा अपी आत्मा दृश्यते इवन इफ दी आत्मा इज गूढ़ा हिडन स्टिल दृश्यते मीनिंग व्हाट दर्शन इज नॉट लिटरल नॉट एज एन ऑब्जेक्ट कैन बी नोन न्यायते इत्यर्थ कैन बी नोन एज वन सोन स्वरूप सूक्ष्म बुद्धिया अग्रया सूक्ष्म बुद्धिया सो बुद्धि हेज टू विशेषण वेरी सटल meaning indicating this sukshmata of the atma needs sukshmata of the buddhi also antakkarana is sukshma but its role as the antakkarana uh, meaning antakkarana's role as manas is not as sukshma as the antakkarana's role as buddhi so buddhi has to be very subtle and being subtle it should get an op- opportunity to step in when needed and that time the buddhi has to be sharp therefore agre this bu- agreya buddhya agreya buddhya sukshma darshi by by whom it is seen those are who are sukshma darshi so here this uh, it's a niche niche pratyay is used in उपपद तत्पुरुष सो सूक्ष्म द्रष्टु शील ये सूक्ष्म दर्शिन द्रष्टु शील तैयार सूक्ष्मदर्शि दृश्यते आत्मा गूढ़ा दृश्यते प्रकृतपुरुष यदि प्रकृतपुरुष आत्मा परमात्मा ब्रह्मात्मा इन दि कॉन्टेक्स्ट दट इज दि पुरुष बिकॉज what the mantra said is it is ending with purushan na param k 
किंचित सा काष्टा सा परागति एंड दिस इज पुरुषा न परम किंचित इति दृश्यते दिस कैन बी अंडरस्टूड ओनली विथ अ सूक्ष्म एंड अग्रया बुद्धि इत्थम सॉरी आत्मशब्द श्रवण प्रकृत पुरुषे प्रकृत पुरुषे आत्मशब्द श्रवण प्रकृत पुरुषे विषय विषय सप्तमी विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस पुरुषा इन दि कॉन्टेक्स्ट आत्मशब्द श्रवण विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू दैट और इन दैट मीनिंग इन दैट सेंस आत्मशब्द हेज बीन हर्ड प्रकृत पुरुष विषय इन दि मीनिंग ऑफ पुरुष इन दैट कॉन्टेक्स्ट what has heard atma shabda shravana the atma shabda is heard there atma shabda shravana cha atma param eva idam vakyam in the meaning of prakruta purusha or prakruta purusha is atma shabda has the meaning of atma purushanna param because before this the atma shabda has come in and thereby the atma shabda purusha have the same meaning in the context it means that atma which cannot be known through any other pramana and therefore atma param eva idam vakyam the entire section is committed only to atma revealing atma atma jnatasya atmanah shrutya manantara avedyatva roopa apurvatva pratipadanad iti bhavah why because atma cannot be known by any other means manantara manantara is pramanantara अन्य अन्य प्रमाण मानातर प्रमाणातर एंड मानातर अवेद्य अवेद्यत्व आत्मा के नॉट बी नोन थ्रू एनी अदर प्रमाण एंड दैट कैन ऑफ अपूर्वत्व अवेद्यत्व रूप मानातर अवेद्यत्व रूप अपूर्वत्व अपूर्वत्व मीन्स दैट विच के नॉट बी नोन अदर देन दिस वॉट इज दैट दिस श्रुति प्रमाण प्रतिपादनात् बिकॉज दिस अपूर्वलिंग इंडिकेट्स दैट दिस अपूर्वलिंग इज नोन थ्रू दिस एनालिसिस एंड व्हाट एनालिसिस आत्मशब्द विद दिस सूत्र व्हाट वी नो इज दैट प्रतिपादन ऑफ व्हाट अपूर्वलिंग अपूर्वत्व इज शोन एंड अपूर्वत्व इज व्हाट इज दिस अपूर्वत्व इन मानातर अवेद्यत्व रूप अपूर्वत्व इट इज अपूर्वत्व इज दैट which is in the form of that linga is in the form of not being able to know the vishaya in the context prakruta purusha atma shabda which is indicating that what is that padartha atma cannot be known by any other means manantara avidyatvam that is the roop of apurvatva that is the form structure or swabhav uh, swarupa of apurvatva linga पूर्व वाक्यभेद अर्थादीना पृथक् प्रतिपादी अभीत तदवत् प्रजापते रेतो देवाह इति पूर्ववाक्य हिण्यगर्व से प्रकृतवाक्यभेद सह एव आत्मशब्द अभिधीयते दृष्टात पूर्वपक्षी इज लुकिंग इन टू the analysis of this siddhanti and says what have you done as i understand purvam earlier what you have done in the adhikarana this adhikarana is over now the new adhikarana is coming up as to atma grihitya adhikaranam so atma grihitya adhikaranam has this introduction where purva pakshi is saying purvam vakya bhedam abhidhaya there would be vakya bheda and if you take this vakya bheda prayojana has to be shown arthadinam prutak pratipadyatvam what is it that you know anim what is the shruti vakya which says in part as what indriyabhya parahyartaah so if artha paratvam is there in this vakya or indriya paratvam is there in the vakya or mano paratvam is there uh, manah paratvam is there buddhi paratvam is there then what is it that you get what is the shruti revealing prathak pratipadyatvam nasti those particular parts of sentences if they are seen independent sentences vakyas then vakya bhedam abhidha if you accept that vakya bheda then what happens artha dinam prutak pratyavadyatvam has to be shown artha indriya manah 
buddhi known as subtler than the earlier ish vishaya ityadi you have to show what is that you have gained with this vakya and that was not being shown by the puro pakshi it is a, it is not possible to show something as a prayojana of seeing these individual sentences as mimamsa vakyas cannot be shown therefore prutak pratipadyatvam nasti iti abhitam this is what you have concluded you the puro pakshi tadvat prajapate reto devaha iti puro vakye hiranyagarvasya prakrutatvad and also what have you con- concluded there prakruta purusha purusha is the one in the context that is being revealed and therefore atma shabda shravana atma shabda has also been heard and it is in the meaning of the purusha which is in the context as to what purushatna param kinchit there purusha shabda and atma shabda have no difference so that was the tatpare vishaya that is what you have concluded and now another section where uh, another section in the sense another place another shruti where there is hiranya garbha in the context hiranya garbhasya prakrutatvad hiranya garbha is there in the context in the uh, just give me a moment i can't find a quotation as to where it is occurring but anyway uh, i was just seeing where is this uh, mantra maybe aitariya so prajapate reto devaha so there is there is sentence like that elsewhere there hiranya garbha is being discussed and in this discussion of hiranya garbha as the tatpare vishaya prakrutatvad vakya bheda bhiya if you take different meanings of different sentences then what will happen meaning vyakrana sentences what will happen is that vakya bheda will take place so mimamsaka's fear is that vakya bheda should not be used unless there is absolutely no other go if no other option works then only you have to consider a particular thing is ha- meaning in the analysis whether these uh, two sentences as per the vyakarana sentences those are connected or not if they uh, do they make ekavakyata or not or in this in this same single sentence also we have seen in artha sangra as to a single ekating vakyam also when you are analyzing if it has two particular purposes then there will be vakya bheda there should be a single purpose for the vakya the tatpareya vishaya also here in when you are analyzing in vedanta uttar mimamsa also there should be one tatpareya you cannot have a single sentence having more than one tatpareya there will be vakya bheda so vakya bheda bhiya sahayav atma shabdena abhidiyate sah kaha hiranya garbha eva so if you take in the prajapate he eto devaha there if you take hiranya garbha as the tatpareya vishaya in the earlier context in the earlier section of the analysis during the analysis and then you look at atma shabda also meaning atma also is being discussed there then there will be vakya bheda so how do you avoid this vakya bheda hiranya garbha can be the meaning of atma shabda also so this is one possibility iti drishtant sangatya damah so there is an example given that similar analysis can be done in aitariya also where atma shabda is also used and now in katopanishad the way you say atma shabda ch this atma shabda in katopanishad analysis you said that it has to mean contextually what was the word of purusha that has atma meaning this is how you have concluded purusha can mean jivatma also it can mean paramatma also it can mean hiranya garbha also so why did you specifically take purusha and atma shabda to have same meaning because you said that is a context atma shabda ch this is what you use as hetu so similarly using that as an example i'll show an exemplified elsewhere atma shabda is used in the hiranya garbha meaning because the context has hiranya garbha if you say no then what will happen there will be vakya bheda through this 
इंट्रोडक्शन भगवान सूत्र कारक हम सब इधर न्यू अधिकरण एंड शेष आत्मग्रहितीर सॉरी आत्मग्रहितीर इतर अवध उत्तरात आत्मग्रहितीर इतर अवध उत्तरात सो इसे आत्मग्रहिती ही आत्मग्रहिती ही इतर अवध उत्तरात दैट इज पद अच्छे दा आत्मग्रहिती मींस आत्मना हा ग्रहिती ग्रहणम आत्मना हा परमात्मना हा ग्रहणम देर हिरण्य गर्भा इज नॉट द मीनिंग ऑफ आत्मा आत्मा शब्द व्हाट इज द मीनिंग परमात्मा अलोन इज द मीनिंग हाउ इतर अवध इतर अवध मींस इतर श्रृष्टि वाक्य वध जस्ट लाइक इन श्रृष्टि वाक्य आल्सो वेर यू शे आत्मा शब्द यू सी व्हाट तस्माद वाई तस्माद आत्मन हा आकाश संभूत हा देर व्हाट इज व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ वर्ड आत्मा दैट इज इतर वाक्य इतर वत लाइक एल्सवेर इन तैत्री उपनिषद फॉर एग्जांपल यू हैव तस्माद वाई तस्माद आत्मन हा आकाश संभूत हा आकाश इज बोर्न फ्रॉम दैट व्हिच इज करेंटली इन द सेक्शन आत्मा तस्माद ए तस्माद ए तस्माद आत्मन हा फ्रॉम दिस आत्मा This Atma, which is what that discussed in the earlier section in Taittiriya Upanishad, that is this very Atma, and from this very Atma, Akasha is born. So there, what do you know the meaning of word Atma as Paramatma? Because only from Paramatma Akasha is born. You know from various other Upanishads also. So here you cannot say Atma is Jiva Atma. You cannot say Hiranyagarbha also. You have to say it is Paramatma. हिरण्य गर्भा इज द सेम परमात्मा विद द समष्टि सूक्ष्म शरीर उपाधि सो बिफोर आकाशा इज बॉर्न हिरण्य गर्भा के नॉट बी सीन एज हैविंग बीन देर बिकॉज हिरण्य गर्भा वेन यू से हिरण्य गर्भा ही हैज टू हैव ऑल दी सूक्ष्म शरीर संबंध सूक्ष्म शरीर इज बॉर्न आउट ऑफ महाभूता बट महाभूता जेमसेल्स आर नॉट बॉर्न बिकॉज आकाशा संभूता आकाशाद वायु ऑल दिस महाभूता आर बीइंग बोर्न सो बिफोर दैट यू कैन नॉट से हिरण्य गर्भा इज देयर सो व्हाट शुड यू से आकाश इज नॉट बोर्न आउट ऑफ हिरण्य गर्भा और जीवात्मा और व्हाटएवर आत्मा इट इज ओनली परमात्मा दैट इज द मीनिंग यू हैव टेकन यू हैव टू टेक यू द पूर्व पक्षी आल्सो हैज टू टेक द सेम मीनिंग देयर एज आत्मा शब्द मींस परमात्मा सिमिलरली हियर आल्सो इन अवितरी उपनिषद आल्सो आत्मग्रहिति इज परमात्मन हेव ग्रहिति आत्म शब्द शुड बी अंडरस्टूड इन द मीनिंग ऑफ परमात्मा नॉट हिरण्य गर्भ इतर वत लाइक एल्सवेयर इन तैत्री उपनिषद इत्यादि उत्तरात वाई सो उत्तरात देयर विल बी वाक्य शेष व्हिच यू हैव टू एनालाइज व्हाट इज कमिंग अप so in taitre is one example itarvat can be in brahat also so you can take any of these where atma shabda is seen as parmatma in the meaning of parmatma similarly here also atma shabda will mean parmatma says the sutrakara uttarat the following section will show you in the same very same upanishad vritti atra purva pakshe atma padasya parmatma paratva bhavat तत् प्रमित्यर्थम न आनंदादि धर्माणाम अत्र उपसंहार हा सो व्हाट इज दी पूर्व पक्षी सेइंग पूर्व पक्षी सेज दिस आत्म शब्द दैट यू हैव शोन इन द मीनिंग ऑफ पुरुषा एंड अर्लियर आल्सो बाय दैट व्हाट आर यू सेइंग दैट वेयर एवर देयर इज धर्म ऑफ आत्मा परमात्मा बीइंग डिस्कस यू हैव टू क्लब देम टुगेदर इवन फ्रॉम अदर शाखास फॉर सम्य ज्ञान उत्पत्ति संपूर्ण ज्ञान उत्पत्ति so for a complete understanding you are doing upasamhara of all the gunas or dharmas meaning defining attributes from elsewhere also from swashakha for what tat pramityartham atma paramatma pramityartham brahmatma pramityartham for the pramiti meaning understanding of parabrahma brahma tattva completely सो अत्र पूर्व पक्षे व्हाट इज पूर्व पक्षी सेइंग अत्र पूर्व पक्षे आत्म पदस्य परमात्म परत्व अभावात आत्म शब्द डज नॉट मीन परमात्मा एवरीवेयर सेज पूर्व पक्षी देयर हर हिरण्य गर्भा इज द मीनिंग देयरफॉर सच उपसंहार ऑफ धर्मास डिफाइनिंग एट्रिब्यूट्स डिस्कस देयर शुड नॉट बी ब्रॉट इन इनटू स्वशाखा एट ऑल 
because you can know paramatma from your own shakha you need not bring other dharmas from other upanishads and therefore no ananda adi dharmanam atra upasamharad ananda ityadi dharmas which are been discussed earlier in other upanishads should not be brought in meaning you should not do summing up of all dharmas from all upanishads in the case of parmatma to have complete understanding of parmatma siddhanti siddhanti says what in siddhanta parmatmana eva atra uktatva tat pramityartam tat upasamhar iti phala veda atma shabda means parmatma parabrahma alone and therefore this dharma upasamhara should be done you should club together dharmas from other upanishads also into your own shaka aitareyake shruyate in aitareyaka upanishad what is heard atma vaidama eka आत्मा इदम एक एवाग्र आसीन नान्यत किंचन मिशत इत्यादि सो व्हाट इज द श्रुति से देयर वी हियर दैट आत्मा वै इंडीड आत्मा इज इदम दिस एक एव अग्रे आसीत सृष्टे प्राक बिफोर द सृष्टि इदम आत्मा एव वै आसीत इंडीड ऑल ऑफ दिस वाज आत्मा अलोन वी हैव सीन दिस मंत्र सिमिलर मंत्र इन छांदोग्य आल्सो Chandogya Brihat, all these Upanishads talk about similar mantras as to all this was nothing but Atma, Paramatma, Brahma, Sat, Sadeva, Somida, Magrasi, Chandogya. So it is a similar mantra. All this, the Prapancha, Nama Rupa, Atma Ka Prapancha, now was without Nama Rupa, it was Sad Rupa, Chid Rupa, Ananda Rupa, Ityadi earlier. So Atma, it was only Atma earlier, all this Atma. prapancha has unfolded now from the very atma and in vyavahara now you have nama roopa manifest also without which vyavahara is not possible and before this vyavahara was possible meaning jagat was there utpatti had not taken place before that what was the case all of this was nothing but atma meaning nama roopa was not there it was all atma alone now it is atma plus nama roopa and nan न अन्यत किंचन मिशत नॉट इवन अ लिटिल इज देयर आउटसाइड ऑफ दिस सेट द ऐत्री उपनिषद तत्र किम आत्मशब्देन हिरण्यगर्भ उच्यते उत परमात्मा इति संदे हिरण्यगर्भ इति पूर्व पक्ष दस दैट आत्मशब्द देयर मीन हिरण्यगर्भ और परमात्मा पूर्व पक्षी सेज हिरण्यगर्भ सिद्धांतस्तु हवेवर सिद्धांत इज व्हाट अस्मिन सृष्टि वाक्य आत्मशब्देन परमात्मा एव गृहीति ही ग्रहणम न अन्यस्य परमात्मना एव गृहीति कस्य ग्रहणम भवति परमात्मने एव भवति न तु अन्यस्य हिरण्यगर्भस्य हिरण्यगर्भ इज नॉट टू बी अंडरस्टूड एज ए मीनिंग ऑफ दिस आत्मशब्द ओनली परमात्मा शुड बी अंडरस्टूड एज ए मीनिंग व्हाई बिकॉज इट इज अ सृष्टि वाक्य हेतुगर्भ विशेषण इज देयर नॉट विशेषण अधिकरण अर्थ देयर सृष्टि वाक्य अस्मिन सृष्टि वाक्य दैट इट सेल्फ शोस दैट इट इज अ सृष्टि वाक्य एंड सृष्टि कैन नॉट बी फ्रॉम हिरण्यगर्भ इट इज फ्रॉम परमात्मा न अन्यस्य ग्रहणम इतर वथव एलसवेर इन अदर श्रुति आल्सो यू सी सिमिलर इज दी केस हियर एज वेल व्हाट डू यू हियर एलसवेर यथा इतरेषु सृष्टिवाक्येषु आत्मना आकाश संभूत इत्यादिषु आत्मशब्देन परमात्मने एव ग्रहणम तद्वत् अत्रापि सो इन तैत्रीय यू हियर वी सॉ दिस फ्रॉम आत्मा अलोन आकाश इज बोर्न एंड दैट आत्मा इज परमात्मा कैन नॉट बी जीवात्मा और हिरण्यगर्भ इत्यादिषु आत्मशब्देन परमात्मने एव ग्रहण ग्रहणम देर आत्मशब्द is seen to mean only paramatma tadvat atra api similarly here also kutha why uttarat in this in this upanishad also why do you insist that atma shabda should mean paramatma if that is a question of the purva pakshi siddhanti says uttarat because you see what follows sa ikshat lokan nusrujaiti because what you see is that before creation all this was atma and then after that स ईक्षत स आत्मा स इज हू आत्मा ऑल दिस वॉज आत्मा एंड देन सह स्टैंड फॉर दैट आत्मा आत्मा सह ईक्षत लोकान्न सृजाइति लेट मी क्रिएट दीज लोकास दिस इज व्हाट दी आत्मा आत्मा हैड दिस कैंड ऑफ अ ज्ञान ज्ञान उत्पत्ति एज टू दर्शन एज टू लेट मी ईक्षण कर्म वी हैव सीन ईक्षण कर्म अर्लियर ऑल्सो इन दी फर्स्ट पाद ऑफ फर्स्ट अध्याय एक्सल वी हैव सीन ईक्षति अधिकरण देयर वी हैव सीन एज टू ड्यू टू दिस सेंशियंट बीइंग 
alone can see so pradhana was not the samkhyas pradhana was not the meaning there we have seen this here now hiranyagarbha is a sentient being why not hiranyagarbha no cannot be because hiranyagarbha as we saw in the mula when we looked at the sutra as to hiranyagarbha is not even there at all that that word cannot be used before creation when akasha itself is being created there you cannot have the meaning of hiranyagarbha similarly here also when sa ikshata when atma what did he lo- let me create lokas lokas are not created then loka gata mahabhuta karya sharira ityadi are not created even sukshma sharira is not created then where can there be association with samashti sukshma sharira for hiranyagarbha to be there hiranyagarbha cannot be there therefore before creation that atma saw therefore the word atma before creation unto which swarupa the prapancha was before the creation that atma shabda has to meet parmatma and then saiman lokana srujaj having seen as to what lokana srujaiti may i create these lokas when he thought in this manner then this parmatma iman loka iman lokan asrujata created these lokas so ikshana puruka srashtrutva srashtrutva rupa uttara visheshana dityartha so uttarat means what uttara visheshanat where is the uttara visheshana in the vakya vakya shesha you see ikshana puruka srashtrutva srashtrutva rupa uttara visheshana because this atma is a srashta the same atma va idam eka agra asi nanyat kinchana mishana mishat antargata atma shabda that atma shabda atma iti shabda that shabda has visheshana what visheshana is there srashtrutva visheshana is there by lokanu sruja and asrujata kartari asrujata he created who atma created so atma visheshana is srashta so atma being srashta cannot be hiranyagarbha and ikshana purvaka srashtrutva is there ikshana is known through sa ikshata so ikshana karta is also atma and lokan asrujata there asrujata means kartari uh, thinganta pada is there kartari prayoga is there karta it is in uh, kartra samanaadi karanam thinganta pada so karta is who atma what karta srishti karta so ikshana ikshana karta and srishti karta this is a visheshana for atma shabda atma itself therefore uttarat that is the meaning tachya visheshana parmatmanyeva mukhyatvena shrutyantareshu avagatam iti bhava and we have seen from other upanishad other shakhas as to shrishti and ikshana is possible only for this parmatma no one else is there then there is no jivatma there is no hiranyagarbha there is nothing else only parmatma is there before shrishti therefore pradhana if the sankhyavadi claims also we have refuted that saying that ikshana is not possible let alone shrishti therefore those visheshanas prove that atma has to mean parmatma alone not hiranyagarbha also because hiranyagarbha does not exist there tachya visheshanam parmatmani mukhyatvena in the primary meaning it can only be ikshana karta primary not some figurative usage it is literal in the literal meaning ikshana and srishti also is possible only for parmatma not hiranyagarbha as known in shrutyantara in other shruti shrutyantareshu avagatam iti bhava it is understood clearly therefore atma shabda in aitari upanishad also in various mantra pointed out by puropakshi actually one mantra here it has to mean parmatma alone so we'll stop here we'll continue in the next part uh, with the 17th sutra introduction etc amna yante samsiddham adi madhyanta varjitam anand gharma purnam atma jyoti rupasmahe namaste dhanyavada dhanyavada namaste